Hey everybody and welcome to another video from Electronic Armory. In this 3D game development video, we'll cover exporting animations from Blender that we did in our previous video and fire those up inside Unreal Engine. In our next video, we'll cover more advanced UV unwrapping and common errors that you may encounter. We'll continue on with videos in animation in Unreal Engine. So let's get started getting this animation in Unreal Engine. All right, so I have up here our end cap that we animated from our last video. And you see in our timeline that it just kind of raises up, struggles a little bit, falls back down, all using keyframes, our uh, graph editor here, and of course a little bit of our dope sheet that we used last time. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to move this armature underneath one of our collections so that we have those in line. And you'll see that now these are combined. So our hallway end cap is now underneath our armature. We'll expose or make the collider visible again. And it doesn't really matter what the timeline is in this case when we're going to export it, but you can always put it back to one just so everything's lined up. Um, and basically we want to select the armature and we also want to select the collider all in one go. So these three objects, and the way that I like to do that is just to make sure I'm in object mode and then hit B for box select and just select everything. And if you have some cameras on the screen or some lights, that's okay. We won't export those. All right, so I'm going to go up to the export menu. Export this as a FBX file and it should bring up this menu. So I'm going to actually export this into our FBX folder like we've been doing in our previous videos. And then instead of level pieces, we'll export this as level end cap. It'll overwrite the previous mesh that we've created. And that's because we're adding in our animation and our bones to this uh, particular mesh. And we'll go through basic settings for exporting. But of course, we've covered this in previous videos in more depth and details. So the first thing I'm going to do is do selected uh, objects. So we only select or we only export the selected objects, of course. And then we're going to export our armature our mesh and hold down shift while doing that to select multiple items. And we're going to select our transform and just make sure that the forward direction is negative Y in the forward direction and Z is up in the up direction. And that just corresponds to our, uh, our coordinate system that we use in Blender versus the coordinate system that we're going to be using in Unreal. So Y is forward in this case and when we export it into Unreal Engine, it'll be a little slightly different. Um, all right, so for smoothing groups, we want to put that over to edge in this case, and everything else looks pretty good. You can apply your modifiers. We do have a mirror modifier on this that'll get applied when we export it. And our armature. So you can set these to a couple different settings. It doesn't really matter at this case um, what these are going to be, but we can turn off add leaf bones. And if you want to, it won't matter in this case, but only deform bones. If you have any uh, bones that control other bones, those would not get exported if you uh, check this box. So that one doesn't really matter, but that's what that's used for. And then all of our animations, uh, we wanna export our actions, and I'll show you what that looks like in a second. So I'm gonna export that really quickly. Okay, so if we go over to our graph editor here on the left-hand side, and we go up to where it says dope sheet, we can actually change this to action editor. And the action editor looks very similar to our dope sheet, but you can see over here, our action is actually named armature action. So if we wanted to, we could rename that to something like door open, but in this case, we'll just keep it as is. Okay, so we have our dungeon maze here. I'm going to go ahead and select our character and hit F to zoom in on him and then rotate around so I can kind of see where he's looking. All right, so then all we have to do is click import and import into this folder that, we, that we're currently at. And we're gonna import our end cap, our new limb cap that we just updated. And for our FBX import options, what we really wanna make sure that we still have selected is the skeletal mesh, which is the bones that we've uh, created, those two bones. The mesh itself, the, the door, so that's pretty necessary. And then also make sure that this animation, import animations checkbox is checked. Because if it's not checked, our animations won't work. Okay, so we're just gonna hit import on that one. And it's going to import a whole bunch of different pieces for our new door. Okay, so we do have the original mesh door that matches the, uh, the one that we already have in our level. 
But then we also have this animation here. And if I drag that in, you won't currently see it because we didn't put a particular setting on in Blender. However, I kind of wanted to show you what this looks like. So if you double click on this and open it up, you can see that there looks like there's nothing here, but if you zoom in really carefully and closely, you can see that it is indeed our door, but it's really, really small. So if I zoom back out, if I scroll down here on the left-hand side and I go to enable root motion, that will fix that error for us. Okay, and you can see that the animation goes from zero to 120 um, frames here, which is what we set to our original animation. And that's all we need to do besides saving it. And now in our preview, you can see that this mesh here is a good size that we can actually manipulate. All right, so I'm gonna actually drag in the, the mesh here, hit E to rotate and just rotate this 90 degrees. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn that mesh into a blueprint. So I'm going to convert selection to blueprint class. I'm gonna select a skeletal mesh actor as the root. Zoom out a little bit. Go to our graph editor and when the begin play or when the scene is ready to begin playing, I want the door to animate. So I'm gonna drag a pin off of this one and just type in play animation. And I'm gonna select this one. And for this one, it's going to, if we have multiple animations within that action editor, we can select multiple animations. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to select level end count anim, which is our animation. And that's going to play that when begin play happens. Now, for our original door, you'd probably just replace what we did with timelines a couple videos back with this little piece of uh, code here. So that's all I'm gonna do for this one. I'm gonna hit compile and I'm gonna play it. All right, that's our pretty basic, but very important animation from Blender into Unreal Engine. So I hope you found this video useful. So if you wanna see more videos on 3D game development, iOS development, Android development, hit that subscribe button. In our next video, we'll cover something that's called UV unwrapping, which will allow us to apply textures to all these very white walls that we have in front of us. So hit the like button if you wanna see more, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.